Right, today we're going to do route 3 and 4 of the Jubilee Walkway and here we're going to start at the bank Okay Well, to be more precise, we're going to start here from the corner of Queen Victoria Street and Poultry We're going to go down Poultry, turn to our right up King Street and into okay, what we're going to do on this Jubilee Walkway number three, we're going to go down here, Poultry, turn to our way up King Street, through to the Guild Hall. So we'll cross over and turn right up King Street. Okay, when you reach this building here, on the other side of the road, cross over at the traffic lights here and take that right where the building work's going on into King Street. So we just pass, cross over and turn right into King Street. Right, turn right here into King Street and carry on through, straight through, across Gresham Street onto the Guild Hall. Cross over Gresham Street here, straight through into the Guild Hall Court, where the Guild Hall is in stone front. As I said, we'll just cross over Gresham Street here into the Guild Hall. Okay, we're at the Guild Hall, or in the Guild Hall court here. Guild Hall in front of us. Anyway, what we're going to do is turn right and we're going to go down this alleyway straight in front and then we're going to turn left. Turn left here, we cross over and we turn right down Mason's Avenue. So we go up here and turn right down Mason's Avenue. Okay, we turn down here, continue straight through, and then we get to the other end, we turn to our left again and go straight up towards Moorgate End. So we just go through Mason's Avenue. This is where all the city type come in, have their drinks, etc. But anyway, we go straight through. Continue straight through. At the end of Mason's Avenue, you turn to your left here and you carry on straight up. Carry on straight here. We'll cross over London Wall and we're going to head towards the High Walk, Moorfields High Walk. Just carry on straight and cross over London Wall. Okay, when we reach this point, we cross over the zebra crossings there, the um, traffic light. But unfortunately, there's building work going on, so we have to go around to our right and left onto Moorgate to get onto the high walk, Moorfields High Walk. So when we reach the lights here, we turn to our right and then left. Now, normally we go straight ahead, but unfortunately, as you can see, we've got building work here. So we've got to turn to our right here and then left onto Moorgate and before we get to Moorgate station we turn off again so we can get up to the escalators to the high walk Moorfields high walk go along here along Moorgate just before we reach Moorgate underground station we turn to the left okay when we reach this point on Moorgate just before the station we turn left here and then left again so we get to the escalators leading up to Moorfields High Walk. Okay, we've reached here, go through here until you come to the escalators, then we go up the escalators which are on our right and we're on to the High Walk, Moorfields High Walk. And then we just follow the yellow line all the way around to the London Museum. 
Okay, we've reached the escalators here. All we do is go up the escalators and continue straight following the yellow line. When you reach the top of the escalators, all you do is carry on straight. Just follow the line on the pavement. Continue straight, just following the line. Follow the line round, turn right, and just follow round, just follow the yellow line round. And here we turn to our right. Turn right here in front of Willow B House to the very end and then we turn left. Anyway, carry on till the end and then we turn left. This is Willow B High Walk. Uh, when you reach the end we come into speed high walk and we just carry on round. Okay when we reach this point we carry on straight in front following the yellow line on the ground ignore the steps on the right just carry on straight into the building. Okay when we reach this point you turn to your left along Gilbert Bridge Just follow the yellow line straight ahead. Okay, as we cross Gilbert Bridge, you get a view of Lakeside Gardens. Okay, this is where we've just come along. Anyway, we just carry on over Gilbert Bridge. Well, at the end of Gilbert Bridge, I can turn left or right, but basically we're going to go straight ahead. Now, I'm going over by the right to have a photograph of the church there, Cripple Gate. Anyway, go along here and take this, the first on your right, and we're back on track again. All right, we continue along Poston, post them here, and when we get to a few shops, we're going to take a sharp right. I'll show you when. Okay, when we get to reach this point, we take the right here, and we're going to go and continue all the way along till we get to the Museum of London. So we turn right here. As I said, turn right here and we go and continue straight ahead, passing the old or the ancient city walls of London. Kind of dating back to the Roman times. But anyway, carry on straight here. Okay, now the wall in front is the remains of the old city walls of London, going back to Roman times. Okay, we're not far from the Museum of London. Right, continue on until we get to the Museum of London. Anyway, carry on till we get to the Museum of London. 
Okay, we're at the Museum of London now, or the entrance of it. It's free to get in, so it's well worth a visit if you ever get to London. Okay, what we're going to do is carry on in front over the bridge and take the second left. So carry on past that. Section. Turn around here on our left and we take the second bridge. Okay, when we reach this point, we turn around to our left, continue to the end, go down the steps, turn right onto Alder Gate and onto Martin Le Grand and we're going to be heading towards St. Paul's. So carry on to the end, down the steps. Okay, when up. you reach the bottom of the steps, come out and turn to your right, which will lead us into Aldergate and Martin, St. Martin Legra Street. Anyway, just turn to your right and continue As out. I said, when you reach, just turn round to your right here and just continue straight ahead until you come to St. Paul's. As I said, we just carry on towards St. Paul's. Carry on straight till you see the top of St. Paul's Cathedral. Okay, when you reach the top of St. Martin Le Grand, what we're going to do is cross over the traffic lights here and continue straight ahead beside St. Paul's Underground Station. So I'll cross over these lights and continue in the pedestrian area in front. Okay, when you reach this point, all we do is continue down here and take the first turn in on our way, going towards Padamaster Square. Okay, what we're going to do, turn right here into the square, Padamaster Square, straight ahead. Right, here we are at the square, Padamaster Square. You got the London Stock Exchange on our right. Yeah, but anyway, what we're going to do is going to head over to our left and come out by St. Paul's Churchyard. Okay, anyway, when you come to the stone out here, we just go through, and this is basically the end of the Jubilee Walkway route or section three. We're going to head on now to do section four. So, what we're going to do when we leave here past St. Paul's, we're going to turn to our right towards Fleet Street up towards Chantry Lane. So, we're going to go through here under the arch. Okay, normally if you're just doing the section three, you turn round towards the south face of the St. Paul's Cathedral and you just carry on back down Queen Victoria Street back to the Bank of England. But as I said, we're going on straight to do section four. Section four, and we're going to head along towards Fleet Street, towards Chantry Lane. Just turn to your right here and just carry on straight along until we come to Chantry Lane, just before the Royal Court of Justice. Before, and then we start for Route 4 of the Jubilee Walkway. As I said, just carry on straight. Thank you. Just carry on straight. Of course, over the traffic light and continue straight. So we get to Chantry Lane. Carry on straight till we get to Chantry Lane. Okay, we're at the Cheshire Cat here. If you go up this side way, you come to Dr. Johnson's house in Gough Square. Okay. 
Okay, we're not far from Chantry Lane now, where we'll turn right into Chantry Lane and uh, Route 4 starts besides King's College Library. Okay, turn here into Chantry Lane and we're going to start Route 4 of the Jubilee Walkway from the Library of King's College. I continue up a bit. Okay, this is where Route 4 This is where Route 4 of the Jubilee Walkway starts. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on straight to the top of Chantry Lane until we get to Holborn. So continue straight up. Continue to the top of Chantry Lane. When we reach the top of Chantry Lane, we cross over these lights here, we turn left and carry on until we turn right into Brownlow Road. Okay, when you reach this point, you turn right here into Brownlow Street. Carry okay. along down here into Brownlow Street. Okay, at the end of Brownlow Street, we turn left and then right into Bedford Street. Okay, as I said, turn right here into Bedford Road and carry on straight. Keep along Bedford Road. At the end of Bedford Road, we just cross over straight into St. J Great James's Street. Carry on straight along Great James Street, right through to Middleman Street. And then we're going to turn left at Great Altman Street. Yeah. Carry on straight along through the pedestrian area here, straight through into Millman Street. Carry on down until we turn left into Great Altman Street. Okay, when you reach Great Altman Street here, turn left here into Great Altman Street and we take the first way into Lamb's Condonate Street. So we take the first way into Lamb's Condonate Street. So we'll go along Great Ormond Street here and we take the first way. Okay, when you reach this point, you turn right into Lamb's Condonate Street. Continue. We just carry on down here. Lamb's Condonate Street. So when you reach the end of Lamb's Condonate Street, we just follow around and cross over the zebra crossings there. Okay, we take the zebra crossings, we turn to our left, follow round and take the first right by Corwin's Field. 